our first day here in Pokhara and after hearing so many wonderful things about the city, we're excited to see for ourselves why Pokhara is so well loved by everyone who visits. Join us as we roam the trendy streets of Lakeside, learn about the history and enjoy some of the most epic views of this magical city. fantastic hotel called Hotel Karuna which is in the heart of Lakeside and you're going to notice that most of the nice hotels are going to be in this area and this is where most people stay and there is no shortage of hotels and cafes and restaurants and shops right on this main street here in Lakeside. You know what poker reminds me of? What? Chiang Mai because we're higher up we're in the valley between the mountains and the weather is so much cooler here and the air is so fresh that is something we noticed right away when we got to Pokhara was the air is so clean I mean we really enjoyed Kathmandu and Chitwan but it was really dry and dusty so I'm happy that we get some nice fresh air here in Pokhara you see the hat? Mm -hmm. I want to get one Oh, it's Nepali hat. Yeah. Looks nice, isn't it? It does. It looks so nice. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> you have Nepali hat? Yeah. Nepali cap, yeah. You only have one color? You have more colors? Look at that. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's a nice color, but you have to try it on to see if it matches. Oh, there's darker oh. ones too. This one's nice. Wear it like this? Yes. Do it look good? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Is it supposed to be that high? Like is there different heights? Is it always the same height? Yeah, oh, see, this one is bigger. Yeah. yeah, this one's bigger. Let me try this one. How do I look? Here, I'll show you. Okay. Flip the camera over. Ooh. I like it. But I do feel like it's a lot higher than other people wearing them. Thank you. Thank you. When we when he wear it, do you push this down? Like usually do, like this? Like this? Like that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. I do find that this main street has a lot of really nice shops. I'm so tempted to shop as well, but we have like our backpacks and we really can't fit that much. We already bought like a big jacket, thick pants when we uh, went on the bike trip. So like now I kind of want nice dresses and scarves, but I'll see what I can fit. I have to be very strategic with what I buy. Just something nice, something nice and light. Yeah, we'll take a look. Look at all the fun things we could do here in Polka. Ultra light, I think that's like kind of modern. But it's like a little plane. Like a fancier. I've never version. seen that before actually. Yeah. Rafting. That looks fun. Paragliding. We um, might do that. We might do paragliding. Might do yeah. This one I want to do. What is that one? Zip flyer. Because Polka actually has the steepest one in the world, I think. And it can go up to like 100 kilometers oh an hour. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I see you. You, you just look into Nepal, you know? Yeah. Oh, look at Nepali. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You can make one dress, Nepali. Nepali dress? Dress. You can go to the supermarket. What do you call the Nepali dress? It's Istakot. 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 Oh. And pint. Same like it's Nepali dress. Oh. You know? Hi. Already got a compliment. Wow. <laughs> Didn't think you'd look Nepali. <laughs> yeah. Every country we go to, people say you look True. like you're from their country. True. But in Thailand, I don't look Thai. Yeah, Thailand's the only country you. people are like, where are you from? You're not Thai. <laughs> yeah. What do you see? <laughs> These shoes are so nice. They're so beautiful. I'm, I'm going to 
gonna go take a look. Let's see. Dun -dun. Wow. I think they are very beautiful. These are so cute. I really like them. She said that the sizes are all a little bit different because they are handmade in Nepal. Now look at all of that. And how much you pay for that? 1200 rupees. That's about 9 US dollars. That's such a good deal. But it's more than just the price of it. It's I've never seen something similar. So I'm just happy to add this to my collection. Hey, mission accomplished. We, we both, both got, got something. something. <laughs> Aside from a lot of hotels and restaurants on this main street here, most of the shops are related to trekking. Either tour companies or a lot of clothing shops that sell like trekking clothes and accessories because Pokhara is the go-to destination for anyone planning to do the Annapurna multi-day treks. And if you need any of the trekking gears, whether it's boots or jacket, I would suggest to come and buy it in Nepal. And you can get yeah. local brands that is under $60. And they do know how to create good shoes that you don't really need to take that long to break into. They are so comfortable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Real quick. We've been on a mission to travel smarter and lighter, so we've swapped our plastic bottles for these shampoo and conditioner bars by Kitsch, who is also the sponsor of today's video. They are not only convenient to travel with, but it's also better for the environment, and just like normal shampoo, you can still get a really nice lather. We love that the Kitsch bars are vegan, cruelty-free, and contains no parabens, sulfates, and phthalates. My hair tends to be quite dry, but after using the rice water bars, the proteins in the rice water actually help to strengthen my hair, leaving it softer and healthier. You can get up to 100 washes from each bar if you properly dry them. At home, we put them in a self-draining shower caddy so they don't get too soggy, and when we travel, we just hang dry them in the beauty bar bags. If you're interested in trying Kitsch, click the link in our description box and use our promo code Flora and Note to get 25% off site-wide. They ship in the US and to 27 more countries like Canada, Australia, New Zealand, the UK, and more. Now let's get back to the video. Namaste. Do you have tea? Yeah. Masala tea? Yes. Yes. Masala tea break. Can we sit here? Yes, here. Why not? Can we take this too? Okay. <laughs> so our plan for today is that we want to visit some places that are outside of Lakeside a little bit. So we are renting our scooter here from Robin. He was the first one that popped up on Google Map and he has great reviews. So we thought we'd come here to rent it and he's really close to our hotel as well. So we'll enjoy our masala teas and then we will head to our first destination, which is a beautiful suspension bridge outside of town. <laughs> Even though this looks like a coffee shop, it is a coffee shop. <laughs> and it is also a bike rental. The name is Adventure Pokhara Bike Scooter Rent and Tour. Bike and Scooter for Rent. <laughs> so just remember that. We'll put the link in the description box. Can we go shoot the scooter? I can choose anyone? Anyone, I, I just gave you offer for 1.5 also. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Wow. Do you want black? Do you want red? Huh? Or do you want orange? Orange would look pretty good. Yeah. It matches your hat. How many cc is this? This one is 110, 110, and 125. I think we should go for the, the fastest one. The more powerful one. Because at one point, we're going to have to go up the hill, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we take this one. It's amazing how good the roads are here in Pokhara. 
compared to the roads on the way here from yeah. Chiquan. It kind of felt like there were no roads yeah. leading up to coming to Pokhara. I think a lot of the construction right now that's happening outside of the big cities is they're trying to expand the roads. So maybe in like a couple years or maybe in like five to ten years, the roads will be a lot better for you to will travel when you're getting around from city to city. Yeah. Okay, turn left. There's a bit of a traffic jam here. I think because there's a wedding going on. You think it's a wedding? I think so. Or is it so. some kind of festival? Everyone's looking real sharp. Where's the bride and the groom? Popular. Yeah. People really like you wearing the hat. Getting a lot of company. Let me fix it a little bit for you. Make it less spiky? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Do they have one for women? I don't notice it. I don't think women wear it. Mm. This is beautiful. It's actually not shaky, so I'm not scared at all. Are you scared? Not yet, but I think once you get to the middle, it will be more the swingy. Is that a word? Swingy? So this suspension bridge is called the Damsadi Bridge and we don't think it is very popular around here for visitors to uh, come and see because we asked around town and lots of local people don't actually know which bridge we're talking about so there must be like another more popular bridge. And also I was reading up on this bridge that it is 276 meters long and about 90 meters high. So I don't know if it's the longest bridge in Pokhara, but it's certainly the longest suspension bridge we've ever been on. And the highest one. You said it's 90 meters? Yeah. It definitely feels higher than that. Look at how small the goats are. They look like ants now. Where are they? I don't even see them. Oh, they do look like little ants. And this particular bridge, you cannot drive on it but there are some that you can take the motorbike mm -hmm. to cross to the other side. You can see there was a landslide recently. Yeah. You see that? It's getting really close to the, the edge. Village. The edge of the bridge. Oh. 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 oh, how come there's a motorbike here? How? How? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. bridge starts shaking. I thought you're not allowed to take a motorbike on this bridge. Well, that's what the sign said. Yeah. It said no motorbikes, but I guess the local people do it. <laughs> okay, this this one's going really fast. You should move. Namaste. Namaste. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Where are you from? From Canada. 
<laughs> Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> so how long has this bridge been here? It's been seven years old. Seven years old? Yeah, seven, six years, seven years old. And how did they cross before? Um, before we were going to this size and later this bridge is making, we are uh, trying to work the, this on rope. On a rope? Yeah. Like you mean without like this rope? Like yeah. without the metal plate? Yeah, yeah, this, without the metal plate. <gasps> how? <laughs> then this is not making. What? And then this woman, you go there, this, you know, uh -huh. this woman also work this. No way. Across this bridge. Without, without this? Yeah, without yeah. the without side. This. Without the sides. Wow, I don't think we That's could have crazy. done it. No. no. I would be like this. No, no, no. no. <laughs> if, you, if you're scared, look at this. Look at the end. Yeah, no, no, no. Look at this tree. Okay, don't look and down. Go the, this side. Okay. And if you come from this side, you look at this tree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And just, just go. Keep going. Okay. Yes, just keep going. What is your name? My name is Amrit Bandari. Um, Amrit. Amrit. Yes, Amrit. Amrit. Nice Nord. meeting you. I'm Flora. Flora. Nice to meet you. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Yeah. <laughs> we're heading the same direction because yeah. we're gonna go grab something to eat at that restaurant over there. Is that a good good restaurant to eat? Yeah, this is my brother. Your oh. brother! Oh, okay. brother knows how to cook and the little brother knows how to tell a story <laughs> Such a beautiful drive. Yeah, we're here. It says way to Stupa. Ten minutes. Oh wow! Look at this. Wow! I didn't realize poker is this big. I guess that side is lakeside. That is Fiwa. Yes, Fiwa, Fiwa Lake. Lake. Wow, the city is huge. It looks like a painting because the different sizes of the hills. Yeah, there's like different layers, different colors. <gasps> I can see the Himalayas. Oh. oh my goodness. This is the first time we've seen the Himalayas. We were kind of disappointed when we were in Nagakot because it's supposed to be also a famous place for sunrise and to see the Himalayas but we couldn't see anything because it was so cloudy so foggy oh my god and I thought we weren't gonna say anything because it's a bit overcast today wow I kind of got goosebumps seeing it it's like the snow-capped mountains it's so so high up yeah compared to the other mountains Oh my god, you can see it all the way over to that side. <laughs> wow. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy to see this. We got so excited we didn't even mention where we are so we drove 20 minutes from the suspension bridge up to the world peace pagoda and this is a sacred place this is a buddhist temple built by a J japanese organization shortly after world war ii to just remind everyone of how important it is to have world peace and this is just one of the pagodas in the world like world peace pagodas there's 80 around the world so i think that is really really cool and it is a secret place so we won't be too loud so you have to contain your excitement yeah. 
I have a question. You said 80 in the world. Are they all built by Japanese or I different countries? I think it's built by the same organization. organization. Mm. Yeah. Lake. This is pretty incredible. So we got here, but the water is a bit rough, it's a bit windy, and there are no boats out on the lake. But we did find this awesome sunset spot just on the other side of the lake. I guess this is like a local hidden gem because mm -hmm. lots of local people here enjoying the sunset. So we're gonna have to save the boat ride for next time. Yeah. But we had an amazing day here in Pokhara. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you are new to our channel, make sure to click that subscribe button and follow our other adventures in Nepal. As always, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. We will see you in the next one. Bye. Bloopers. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I have a difficulty breathing now. Hello. Mm. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> oh wow. Look at the city view from here. This is beautiful. Can we move up a bit more? It smells like fart around here. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> You're popular. Yeah. They wanted to take photos of you. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. They're here on a family trip. He said three full buses worth of family, 130 people. I don't. 130 family members. Yeah. That's and I was like, is it? Family trip. Is it for a wedding or anything? He's like, no, 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 just family trip. That's amazing. <laughs> it's hard enough to coordinate like five family members to travel together. Imagine 130. Mm-hmm. <laughs>